All right, in this case, they there's no line here. They just give us a couple points. So if they just give you a couple points, you're going to have to get a sheet of graph paper, or if you don't have graph paper, you're going to have to make kind of a rough sketch, uh, but we've got graph paper. But I know if you take like map, test, dry, TBS, you may not have a graph paper, um, but you're going to have to make a rough sketch and figure out what that slope is. So I'm going to put the points on here. Okay, so if I go negative 1, 0, that's here. If I go 11, 3, that's here. Now I need to make my line. Okay. Let's go right there. Now we need to find our slope. I'm already knowing that this is going to be positive. This is going to be a positive slope because it's going from bottom left to top right. That's the positive direction right there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first figure out how many up or how many down. So just pick one of them to start with. It doesn't matter. I will start with this one and we'll see how many up we have to go. So it would be one, two, three because now I'm in line with this one. So that top number is going to be three. Okay. Now I need to figure out how many over it takes to get there. Uh, let's see here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it takes twelve to get over there. So my bottom number is going to be twelve. Let's simplify this down. That would be divided by three, so it'd be one fourth. One fourth is going to be our slope. That means for every one we go up, we should be going four over. And we know this is the direction we're going because it's a positive slope. Okay, so for instance, let's try this out here and see how it works. Okay, I should be able to start at this point, go up one, right four, up one, right four, up one, right four, or the opposite, down one, left four, down one, left four, down one, left four, and hit points every time. Up one, right, one, two, three, four. Up one, right, one, two, three, four. Four. up one right one two three four the pattern continues that's how this one works last one whoops I put the dots on there but that's okay if they don't give you the line and they just give you these points right here again we've got to draw it out you're gonna need some graph paper uh, one two and negative nine six I've already got them on here so I'm gonna draw my line there we go now I need to find the slope. I already know that this one's going to be negative because it's going in this direction. It's going bottom right to top left. So let's test this out here. Um, let's see here. To get from this point to this point, we got one, two, one, two, three, four to get level with that. And then if we go over. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10. So that is something that's going to be able to be simplified. And, you know, you might not always be able to simplify it, but that's something you should be able to do. So if I go negative or divide by 2, my slope's negative, so it's going to be negative 2 over 5, negative 2 fifths. So if I follow this pattern, I should be able to find a point as long as I go uh, in this direction up and it would be left up and left up and left because that's how the line goes or down and right down and right down and right because that's how the line goes um, so let's try this out here two one two three four five two one two three four five and it should work the same way two one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how that would be on the line right there. Two, one, two, three, four, and fit that in there, five. So that would form my line right there. So it's almost like a pattern that you're finding. Um, you're going to try some of these on your own here in a second, but remember before you do this, keep in mind um, that what we're doing, identify what kind of slope it is first after you draw your line. This one was negative. The other ones, if we have it going that way would be positive so that's kind of a good thing to know to start with uh, and then again we're trying to find how many up or down compared to how many right or left and remember eventually that's going to fit into this part of our equation right here so for instance if my slope was negative two-fifths on this one uh, 
when we go to make our equation, that negative 2 fifths is going to sneak right in there.